and welcome to Paints and Glitter. My name is Raquel and I want to thank you for joining us for our Craft Room Helpers What Do You Color with collaboration and giveaway this month. There are 10 of us YouTube crafters that are going to be sharing a variety of coloring mediums. In my case I'm sharing how I colored this beautiful image using Distress Oxide inks from Ranger and I'm going to just uh, give you guys a couple of housekeeping rules before I move along. Each one of us is having a giveaway on our YouTube channel. We do ask that you please subscribe and leave a comment and please leave a thumbs up if you enjoy the video as well. Also below this video you're going to find the full lineup so please scroll down to read everything. Also the giveaways are open internationally so that's wonderful. The giveaway on each channel is going to run from Saturday, May 4th through Saturday, May 10th, which is my birthday. And so you have a full week to watch the videos and the winners are going to be chosen randomly from the qualifying entries and announced shortly after. In the description bar, uh, you'll find the sponsors that we have and they're amazing. So you're not going to want to miss out on this. So remember to qualify for the giveaways, you must be a subscriber and leave a comment on each channel. And also there might be additional rules on each uh, channel. So listen carefully to the videos. And to move along, my image here, as you can see, is this adorable image from Julia Sperry. She has an Etsy shop and she also has a VIP program. So if you're interested in this image, you can get it from her. She actually sends them through Facebook and uh, you're able to print them out. They do uh, print out just to let you know as if well, this one in particular looked like uh, an illustration. So I did print that out in uh, just a black and white and I colored it in. And what I also did was that I topped it off with Nouveau Drops to give it, that's the, the sheen that you're seeing there, as well as Jelly Roll pens. So that's the only thing that you won't see in the video in terms of color. What I also did with the image was that I mounted it on top of another uh, paper that I did heat emboss to give it some glimmer. But it's very whimsical, very pretty. Uh, if you look at Julia Sperry's artwork, uh, it is on Etsy and through Facebook that you can actually access it. She has a lot of watercolors and so I wanted to emulate that when coloring this uh, image and I had a lot of fun doing so. I used oxide inks that I have in my stash and I'll be showing that with the tutorial. And also what I did was to make it a little whimsical and fun. I made these little flowers also using Distress Oxides. And these are actually made out of coffee filters, if you can believe that. And so they're very soft and uh, kind of fluffy, if you will. And the image also, and you're going to see it um, in the coloring portion of this video, has a little bow. The girl's wearing a bow, but what I did was that I topped it off with a bow that I also colored with oxide inks just to give it some dimension and texture. And this is the topper of my car. And I did use some tonic dyes to make it. I kept it simple. I will finish this off with similar colors on the inside, but for the sake of just showing the video, I did want to just concentrate on the coloring. So stay tuned. And of course, as I always say, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And I look forward to seeing who's going to win the images from Julia Sperry. I would like that you please leave a comment below and let me know which of the oxide colors you like best from the tutorial. Let me know if you've ever used the technique that I will be showing and uh, keep watching and you'll get to see what it is. And I, as I always say, I hope that you can be inspired and be blessed. And thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me to be part of this collaboration, guys. Okay, to color this image by Julia Sperry, what I've decided to do is that I'm going to be using Ranger Oxide inks and Distress inks. What I'll do is I will select a variety of colors. I happen to have them here next to me and I am also using a glass mat which you can see on the edge of your screen here. What I will do is that I will place the ink from my ink pad onto my glass mat and then I'll use brushes such as these water brushes that I have here and other brushes with fine tips to go ahead and color my image and I will be wetting the ink also 
so that I can go ahead and have a nice pool of water as if I were water coloring. So that'll be the technique that I'll use is basically doing color washes and then intensifying the color throughout as I go along. And obviously I wanted to mention you'll need water so what I do is I keep a little uh, spritzer bottle nearby and I can spritz my glass mat where I have my ink. And I also have a scratch piece of paper behind my image so that way I can either test the colors on paper before I apply it to my image or I can make sure that it doesn't get oversaturated. Now I am using paper that is mixed media paper and I'll list that description below on my video so that you can have that for reference if you need it. So I'll zoom in so that way you guys can see the image which is printed in a 5 by 7 size.